Man, on me you cheat, man. man. Come on out here, man. Man, this dude straight cheap, dog. I'm a man. man. I know what I'm doing. Man, whatever, dog. Go ahead, son. I had just got some uh, Doritos out of the uh, out of the out of the machine. I had my, my change to drop down there. Look at me. Look at me and tell me what do you see? Through your foggy glasses, your eyes on the back of your head that only allow you to see backwards, your far-sighted vision that only see every wrinkle spot, every blemish, your cataracts tinted contact lenses that only see me through eyes that are squinted from a distance, it's clear. You do not see me for who I am. And who I am is not who I was. But if I was, what gives you the right to judge? I know I broke your heart and you lost a lot of blood, but it ain't a band-aid that they made that could restrain the flood from all that love. And even though it was a long time ago, you still holding on to a grudge you keep. Picking at the scab, won't let it heal, making a permanent scar. So now when you try to move on, you don't get that far. You just got the car in reverse with your foot pressed down on the gas. Vroom, you keep pulling up dirt because you just stuck in the past. You so mad, I hope you don't spin out of control and crash before they wave that checkered flag. Because if you do, with people in your carpool of unforgiveness, According to what is written, you're going to be wishing that you had forgave everybody that you did. Because the word of God says you must first forgive in order to be forgiven. But you so quick to condemn them, you don't even recognize who sent them. You're being victimized in disguise by the enemy that's in them. Just another trick of the adversary and you're playing along with them. How dare you even be offended? If you've never seen the movie Passion of Christ, I highly recommend it. Him who knew no sin gave up his whole life for us to receive it. His whole body bleeding, head pierced with thorns, flesh ripped open and torn, bruised, beaten and choking while across he was still holding, eyes in his lips swollen with sharp edged tips he was poking and the only words that were spoken was his compassionate emotions. Forgive them, for they know not what they do. And you got the nerves to complain about what somebody did to you. If only we could obey what we say when we pray. Lord, forgive me my trespasses as I forgive those who trespass against me. And for one moment you let it go because it sounded so convincing. And then your baby daddy or your baby mama called. And the prayer that you just prayed, you forget you even prayed at all. On the phone, bouncing off the walls, mad at yourself for even picking up the call, remembering everything about them that even makes your skin crawl. And sticks and stones will break your bones and words, words they will bruise you. If you stay on the phone too long with the accuser, they'll start pointing the finger like, you ain't no real Christian, look at you, getting all mad. Why you judging me though? Talking about you say, I'm saying though, why you gotta curse? Why you gotta curse? And this is 15 minutes sitting in your car right after you left church. Unforgiveness does more than hurt. Unforgiveness is a sin. If you don't deal with it from the start, you won't even know that you let it in. See, God is the light, and the enemy is dark. So be bright about what you can't see that you're harboring in your heart. So in the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, I pray that you don't wait until it's too late and you forgive someone today. Amen.
Now he has six. That's a heck of a job to lay in around the call the defender cap. And you back at this machine and get mellow, man. Ellis, man, that whole thing with the change, man. We just, just forget it, man. Everything cool, man. All right. God bless you, God bless you man. Take it easy, cuz. Alright, boy, number low. Alright.